Another parent never imagined what an investigation of her child's daycare would reveal. Investigators say classroom video shows children being hit repeatedly by a worker with a paint stick. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes is the only reporter with the findings by daycare regulators. We might never know about the alleged disturbing classroom video inside Brighter Future Child Care and Development on Chambers Road. If not for Deanna Harold, we featured her concern last month. And I noticed there was a knot on my son's forehead and like a gash over his eyebrow. A newly released 15 page report from the Missouri Office of Childhood provides an answer based on classroom video. That video reportedly also reveals other children struck. The report says a worker used a paint stirrer to hit children. Examples include a three-year-old girl, quote, hit with a paint stirrer on the left arm, causing her to cower to the ground. A three-year-old boy, quote, hit with a paint stirrer on the right side of his face. Harold's child repeatedly got the bump on his head after the report says a different worker, quote, hit him in the face with her hands and also, quote, aggressively flipped him over onto his cot, where the inspector noted the cot made contact with his head. Harold retained attorney Chris Finney. What stands out as most heartbreaking is the children involved, especially the one who has autism, who's nonverbal, who cannot say what's happened to them. Finney says his client's attentiveness helped other parents and children. In a place like this, where it's understaffed, it's admittedly understaffed, leaving children unattended, um, having unqualified people working there, this is a recipe for disaster and it takes parents standing up. St. Louis County Police continue investigating possible criminal violations. We could not get a response from the daycare by phone, so we returned in person. We saw people inside. They disappeared when we approached to knock and did not return. The inspection report indicates the director suspended the two workers with plans to fire them and that the facility would be closed until they can hire new staff. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.